All right, Russ, you found significant discrepancies when it comes to voter registration. Some people apparently appearing to be qualified to vote on the books, but not really so. What have you found? Well, on paper, they appear to be qualified voters, but what we found is that many of these people didn't qualify to vote because they were six feet underground. Now, this involved a huge amount of records as you did your investigation. What was the most difficult part in digging through all this? Well, it wasn't going through the, the thousands or, or maybe even millions of uh, voters that we looked at. The hardest thing was that a lot of these voters were dead, and I had to contact the family and confirm, is this... Dad, Mom, Uncle Joe. Dad and Mom, yeah, and call them and, and tell them what happened. This is Emily's voting record. Oh. Less than two months after she died. Address, date of birth, that's all correct. Unbelievable. You don't even know how this could happen. Dealing with, yeah, dealing with that family was the hardest part. How will this play out, and when will we get all the details? Well, we're going to be placing sidebar stories on the web uh, day by day by day, uh, showing what we uncovered as we went through this investigation. And then Thursday night at 10, we will be unveiling all the information, where we found the dead voters, what counties in the metro, and what those election officials are doing to manage this before the election. Thursday night at 10. All right. Thanks, Russ. Thursday at 10, the NBC Action News investigation and the documents that could rock the upcoming election. Kansas City voters from all over the metro casting ballots from the grave. Records show she voted two months after she died. I just don't know why someone would do this. With so many tight races and important issues, how do we know this election will be on the up and up? The investigators digging, pushing, uncovering a red-hot controversy. Thursday on NBC Action News at 10.